Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand how to integrate one Salesforce Oc with another. But before that, if you like my videos and if you find my videos very helpful, do subscribe to our channel. So let's jump back to our video. So right now, we have one Salesforce Oc. Let's call it, that, uh, call it as Org1. And we have another Salesforce Oc. Let's call it as org2. Now org1 is the source org and org2 is the target org. I'm going to name it as target. So what's going to happen is the source org is going to log into this tar target org. Okay. It's going to log into this target org and it has some kind of data. Okay. I'm going to just do it this way. So this is data. So our source, source org1 is going to log into this target org. Once it logs into this target org, it's going to fetch this data and it's going to bring it to the source org. So that's what we are going to do it in our Salesforce org. So I do have two Salesforce org right now. This is a source org. The one that I've logged in via edge, that's a source org. And another one that I have is a target org, which I've logged in via Chrome. Now in this video, we're going to more focus on the part to log in into this external system right so we have to log into this target org now to log into this target org we have to make the credential of this target org available for source org only then source org will be able to log into this target org right so basically what we want is whatever credentials of this target org are we have to make it available for the source org now to do that we have to create a connected app in salesforce using connected app you get a consumer key and consumer secret now this consumer key and consumer secret can be used by some another system for an example another salesforce org to log into your salesforce and access the resources so right now first to expose or to create the credentials i'm going to go to the i'm going to go inside the target org and then i'm going to create an app go to the app manager and then i'm going to create a new connected app name is sf to sf that is salesforce to salesforce and then i'm going to name it my email once that is done enable the oauth settings and then provide the callback url right now i'm going to provide this callback url but we are going to change this callback url anyhow now once that's that's done you provide the oauth scope just provide it everything right now we will understand it in further videos what do you, what does this mean actually and once that is done click on save and continue now once that's done once you click on this manage consumer details you will be able to get consumer key and consumer secret so i'm just going to click on this and then i'm going to get a verification code on my email So I've got it. So once I'm going to put this verification code inside my email, I'm going to get a consumer key and consumer secret. Now using the same consumer key and consumer secret, I will be able to make other systems other than even Salesforce. If another system also wants to access the Salesforce, they need to use the consumer key and consumer secret of this org. That is our target org. So in the next video, we are going to understand how a Salesforce source org is going to pull the data from the target org. Now, if you found this video helpful, please do subscribe to our channel.